Okay, so next step is pretty much gonna be go back and find out more uh, about the Sunless City. This time I will mark it on my HUD. If I can find it here. the autopilot doesn't try to kill me now does seem that way it's really nice I feel like I'm gonna run into that thing okay hasn't succeeded in killing me that's pretty nice. Well, I now just need to get to the Sunless City. So the second entrance is the question. So I guess at the very beginning. You know what? I actually. could actually just go to the to to okay now I found it so I think it's fine don't I oh I'm just crashing into everything now not much finesse to me right now okay and I'm also I've also landed on a uh not on solid ground. Now I'm good, I think. Ouch. So let's go back to the Sunless City and find out more about stuff we missed. Oh no. So definitely we didn't go through that door on the very top. That will be interesting to explore. And or did yeah, isn't that just to the shuttle? Yeah, it's just to the shuttle. Okay. Hmm. Definitely explored up there with the anglerfish. I think I haven't been on the very bottom, which makes sense because it does tend to fill up with sand. Hey, almost died, but not quite. High energy lab. Oh, yeah. And that's the ticket. That's pretty. That's what we wanted to get to in the very beginning. Doesn't solve the stuff to explore at the Sunless City, though, but still. Okay, so how do I get through this? Not that way, apparently. Q. 
Okay, so there's probably a way around. Maybe. Hmm. No, that's just going backwards. This is just the same thing. So, maybe I need to go up here. Yes. Well, it seems like it's done something. I don't know if it's the right way. <clears throat> well, that just takes me back to the Sunless City. So, no, that's not ideal. Maybe there's got to be another way. No, 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 no. Okay, so I'm a little confused. And the sand is unfortunately rising at us. Well, okay, that solves that problem. Sand solves all problems in the end. Okay, so there's an end. Oh gosh, I'm gonna get squished. Ooh. Come on. No, I'm gonna get squished. Don't squish me, please. Uh, I know. I'm extremely gonna die now. Yep. That's not a good sound. That's not something you like to hear. Ew. Yes, that has happened to me before. Huh, so we can get through to the other side. Uh, so we can get through to the other side using... Um, using the sand but fortunately uh i don't think that i don't know it, it seems like there should be a way through wait i don't think that's what i needed to find at the yeah so I, there's no new stuff unfortunately um get back to the hourglass twins Can I not lock onto them? <clears throat> this probably also ha has to be a other another entrance to oh my God, just... there there also has to be another entrance to the sunless city because this is just kind of kind of long and actually I've... I might be stupid actually I can't seem to get into this goddamn crash pod. My failure is continuing. At least I think I'm now good. Even though I've wasted like all of my... Uh, all of my fuel. Which 
is somewhat unfortunate. Okay. So there's multiple things I can. Emergency escape hatch. Keep moving, friends. There's nothing of interest at the end of this passage of rocks. And while these rocks are interesting, they can wait until a less urgent time. Do not follow this tunnel to its end. Kalios and I will examine the horror that lies at its terminus later, provided we uh, live through this. Interesting. I mean, there's another. No, there's a. There's another. No, it's the same. It's the same anglerfish. that we've already seen. I guess this is nothing at all. Yeah, not, not enough. Let's go through here and see what that does. Of note, this passage leads to breathable air. Refill your supply tank there. <laughs> Cannot tell how far or deep these tunnels may wind. But do not linger. This area is exposed to the heat of this alien sun. Okay. Oh, very interesting. Fill your air supply tank and return quickly. Okay, so I guess there's nothing else here. It does look like a ledge, but I. Uh, I guess just coincidental. Okay, let's get back to the city. Now that we've explored all of that, I don't know, I was kind of putting that off, but it's not really very useful. Okay. Definitely need to find a way to access the Sunda city quicker. Bit of a trek every time. But maybe we'll find everything that there's still left to explore on the city. I don't think so. Did I get lost? I think I got lost. Yeah. Wasn't really there we go. Need to go here. And there. Then a little bit of this. Oh no, don't want to do that. Oh boy. That was a little dangerous. So it's already filling up. Okay, so I probably can't even get through this way. Yeah, that's not happening. I'm too late. Fortunately. No! Oh god. Just in the exact moment where it was the where it was big enough for me to fit through and um it was about to crush me. So that was uh, unfortunate. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. 
but that does allow us to uh, try to get into the high energy lab again. Um, But you kind of have to, um, it's very interesting that a character chooses to get crushed instead of uh, kneeling down or something like that. So maybe they're very, uh, ups they're apparently a very upstanding citizen. Okay. That thing, that thing has to be the sun station, right? Okay. No time for that right now. Okay, fine. If I'm here, then I might as well... Oh god. No, actually, if I'm here, I should... I should do the other thing. Please let me out. Because we're here on purpose at the very beginning so we can get to so we can get to the uh, high energy lab where is the crash site Can't see it. Don't shoot that. It's bad. Where is the crash? Yeah, might be crash site. Might be done. There it is. I see it. I feel like I've already wasted a lot of time, unfortunately, just getting here. Bonk, bonk, bonk. This is fine. Get to the other side. Perfect. Very smooth. And we go here. Don't need no, no stinking air. <clears throat> I wonder what's down there and why it's death. Let's go right to the left. Up here. And over here. Oh yeah, we need to go over there. Okay, let's turn the lights back on. Hopefully not get crushed this time. I feel like I have to find a way to get into the high energy lab, but also I think it's, I don't know, I've kind of looked everywhere. Come on. Let's 
so where did it go let's get me over this thing Cacti are really not nice to me. Okay, and this just goes into a wall, which is. Don't care. Let's go. <sighs> I'm gonna die again. Yes. I think. feel like this is a dead end. Maybe not. I think I made it, actually. Where am I good? Three minutes of oxygen remain. This one goes down. Oh, from where does it go down? Because this is definitely where we want to go because this shows the. I don't miss anything. It's where the power line goes. No, I think I need to keep going. Just so I don't um, get sanded again. We're in a new place now, which is pretty sweet. Okay, so that's empty. Don't know what that's for, but Bye. Records show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from the Whitehall station. Remy and I are devising an ex experiment uh, to test if this is a real phenomenon or a simple machine error. And Pi says this. Pi. Initial things first. Our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup on the white hole station. Hypothesis. It is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. Rami. In theory, wait, this. This is Rami with the hypothesis. In theory, what we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. Eat. Not very eaty. An update, Rami. An update. Our experiment here reproduced the anomaly in arrival and departure times. But Pi is unconvinced it's even more than it's more than an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it visible to the unaided eyes. Pi. To that end we've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should prove sufficient. Pi of note, Rami. Yarrow requests that we let him know before we reroute energy to the experiment. So it's still being rerouted, so maybe something went wrong and that's why people are dead. I'd hate to leave him in the dark. 
pi. All available energy has been all available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Remy and I are about to run the new tests. Remy, hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. This is a uh, pi. This is beyond ex extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the interse intersection of abstract theory and practical application. It's very nice. Well, they got the right result from their. Uh, or they got the result they were expecting. Oh, okay. From their experiment. So there's warp pores, they have black holes and white holes. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I can run the experiment now. So basically, I want a black hole and a white hole. Then I should launch my probe. I can't see a difference because it's too low energy. What happens if we change things around? Just doing this, for example. Nothing happens. Doesn't even produce a black hole. Hmm. What if we do? Two black holes. Nothing. Okay, so the only thing that does something is, I guess, a black hole and a white hole, and we need to reroute energy to get more. We need more power, baby. More scrolls here. Rami. The southern, the southern Observatory is asking if, uh, if creating a 22 time interval is possible. That is to have something arrive 22 minutes before it, it is actually sent through the warp. We've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to exp extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Ooh, so the it's very interesting because 22 minutes is about as long as the universe lives. So probably what they've done is started the... No, that means... Oh god, okay, so that means that I get teleported somewhere by the statue and I arrive 22 minutes before I get teleported and I get teleported as soon as the supernova touches me. Uh, problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Uh, Pi hypothesis creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. The energy is currently unavailable, you say. You're a gas, Pi, Rami says. My pun was unintended, Rami, so I believe it's you who's uh, airy form. Hi, Remin, I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, which is the sun station. A thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology able to handle such energy. We would likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be the Ash Twin. Okay. The Ash Twin is where they put the warp technology and the energy production together. And we have the 
the solar panels we also have the sun station so i wonder what that all means and uh, what causes what there Pi, the Ashwind project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need to, uh, a way to travel quickly between Ashtwin and each location that holds crucial project materials. What if we used warp towers, like the one we have on Whitehall Station, to connect uh, each planet directly to Ashtwin? Uh, poke root, uh, Clary says this. Poke root and I can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. This will keep us busy. Of note, each tower on Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. Yeah, we've seen that. Uh, Flux. We can design each tower to visually reflect its warp its destination. Flux. The giant. Giant steep tower, for instance, should resemble a cyclone, and we should we could add trees to the timber hearth tower. Okay, so we saw those things. This is of course very interesting. Let's see if we can turn up the power. So we're out now. We're up outside. Uh, on basically just on the outside where I wish I could get in but I can't okay so there has to be a way to oh that's the way to increase the power so as before it was going to this and that's the that's a city, I would guess. Okay, so now if we do this, we should be able to... Yeah, we can visually see that the scout uh, exits before it enters, which is the phenomenon that we're trying to explore. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, what next? Why are there multiple cores, I wonder? Oh no. Okay, so how I think I've seen pretty much everything. So let's go outside. And that means that this is an entrance to. I don't have that much time left. Ow. Okay, so I can't go through here. Ghost matter here. Hmm. Okie dokie. So, what to do next? Okay, I think. Well, we need a warp stone here to be able to look at uh, some other place, which we don't have currently. And we've seen here uh, everything that's to do here. Sunda City, 300 meters. Not really. Uh, that's not really in the cards for us anymore because that thing is filled up with ghost matter and also with sand at the moment. So I think I'm just gonna go back to my ship. So basically, the question is why did they want to? 
to get exactly 22 minutes so that's very very interesting mm. So the entrance, I think there's a second entrance. It should be somewhere around here. It can't be that far away, right? It's just here. No, let's try. Maybe it's just here, I don't think so. Definitely explored everything here. I think I'll leave that as new because I'm gonna end the stream after this cycle. Because um, I really need to get to bed. Also, I really need to pee. Um, okay, so there's no entrance here, I don't think. But well, we've seen everything here already, so... Hmm. So, where to go now? And when I end this, uh, when I start tomorrow, probably, on this game again, I'll be very happy to know where to look next. And it's, it's always... Uh, Oh, there's two entrances here. I didn't know that. Um, I wonder if I can just... I wonder what happens if I just doze here now. There he is. So what happens if I just doze? So that's just seconds. Yes, one minute. Pull up, I think. Yeah, we're not getting any more sand, I don't think. No, it's still rising a little bit. I guess I'll just doze off a little bit more. I think we're done dozing. So we can't doze anymore. So it's time for... It's time for us to end the stream. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please follow me. Uh, pretty much streaming this game every day. As much, uh, pretty much in the evenings, like 10 o'clock my time. It's 12 now at my time. Um, I also stream Dirt, Rally 2.0 and uh, WRC8, which are both racing games, if you didn't know. 
Mm. Yeah, so if you enjoyed it, please follow me and we'll find out together what happens next and explore this very, very interesting universe a little bit more. Thank you very much.